Good morning, my lovely trading peeps. I'm going to do a quick mid-morning, actually, afternoon update. Just noticed the time was 1.30 here Eastern Standard Time. Um, really, not much has changed, but I'm going to jump over to our charts here real quick. We'll start with Bitcoin. We'll end with Bitcoin. And the good news is our line in the sand has held overnight. And we are experiencing a little bit of bounce off that line. Actually, quite surprisingly, Bitcoin has been faring well considering what the broader markets are doing. Let's just jump over to the dollar. You can see we broke into the upside of this bullish triangle, bullish for the dollar. And come back down and we are testing previous resistance, the upside of that triangle. And I do expect us to proceed further upwards to our target up above as the dollar becomes stronger. VIX had spiked and is now coming down, but that is a bullish candle, bullish for fear. All right, as this market is digesting lots of news that is uncertain uh, we have the ukraine situation we have uh, uh, trudeau um, taking extraordinary measures to basically make permanent the government's ability to freeze bank accounts all right but Ukraine is more of a distraction to that, so I'm sure you don't hear as much about that in the news. I really don't watch the news. I see headlines flash on my feed and this and that. But I just try to stay away from all the negativity of the news, and I have been much happier doing so. Um, that's the second thing. The third thing is uh, apparently President Biden has... Uh, signed this executive order regarding cryptocurrency and more regarding that executive order should be unveiled this week all right so that's the third item and along with all this of course we still have the threat the fed is making to increase interest rates which would depress markets further so those are uh, the big items that the market is paying attention to. And because there is a lot of uncertainty in all of that news, we should definitely see a spike in the fear index. And uh, this looks uh, like it's forming a hander, uh, hammer pattern candle, which is uh, bullish for fear, as I've already stated. All right, and then we have, as expected, because the dollar is... Uh, expected to rise the VIX is up the indexes are down greatly we have uh, pushed through significant support on the Dow SPY is also underneath significant support and that is a bearish candle right there so more selling looks to be in the cards again another shooting star is that yeah i think so i think that's what they call it i don't really pay attention to the candle names i just know if they're bearish or bullish but i think that is what we call that all right all under support all four of those indexes under support all right so uh everything's looking bearish but i will say this and we'll get back to bitcoin in a second, crypto has been surprisingly strong during all of this. We're still right on the edge and still don't know whether we're going to break that black line of support. This is the total index, which is fairly similar to Bitcoin, which we're going to get to in just a bit. Ethereum right here. Bitcoin dominance up as expected. And you guys know I have... Uh, uh, stated over and over again this is the expected area or range I expect us to uh, reside in for the next actually the next few mo months uh, and then eventually I think we could even break to the upside of this uh, trend line 
If I were to zoom out here, put it in auto, you can see further up we have 47% as a resistance level. So we'll need to watch for that. But that's a few weeks slash months down the road. Anyways, Bitcoin continues to be strong and that is a good sign for Bitcoin and actually I think a good sign for crypto in general as the uh, obviously you guys know um, the rest of the crypto market follows Bitcoin all right so back to Bitcoin and here we are right on our line in the sand and actually we are kind of being squeezed between this upper area which is now resistance here at what is that 37 550 and our black ascending line currently rising at about thirty dollars per day I guess I would say our price today is somewhere around thirty six thousand eight hundred I mean that line doesn't have to be exact guys it's, it's just an estimated area um, and you know you you want to make sure that you have a couple hundred dollars on each side of that so far that's been pretty precise I mean if if I zoom in here you can see we touched that exactly with yesterday's candle the wick down and now our body is uh, you know the, the body of the next candle open just above that and we're up here now what could happen and could surprise many because everybody is bearish right now right so let's think contrarian let's just say that uh, this Ukraine situation which I think my theory is this just all posturing it's, it's all it's all show and acting by a bunch of juveniles who have somehow gained power um, so I think this is all going to go away. And let's say I'm correct. And what I see here, and of course we still have executive order, which I don't think anything real serious will come out of that for crypto. I could be wrong, but I think uh, I think it's, it's not really going to affect crypto like many m believe it would. And what we would have here then is a possible W pattern which would take us onward and upward to our blue ascending line, basically negating our head and shoulders pattern, pushing us up above the 200 day, pushing us above the neckline. At that point in this area, I am bullish again, full on bull. Yeah, I'm still bullish, but I'm just slightly bullish. And of course, the closer we get to the, the line here, the more neutral I become. Um, but at this point we are on the top side of that line and i've said all along for many moons here that as long as we remain on the top side of that black line i am positioned long and i still remain positioned long so that's what it is folks that's what it is all right until the next update i will see you all later peace